everybody, Joe Patty here, and tonight is a bitter cold, cold, cold winter's night. It's about three degrees outside. If you factor in the wind chill, it's uh, pretty cold. I got Zeus clacking around in the background. I need to take him in and get his uh, nails trimmed. <laughs> All right, so let's get coaster creative, everybody. What I've done tonight is I've mixed up some copper pigment here. It's real pretty, pretty. And in here, I've got the primary elements gold, which I don't really use very often because it's too yellow for me. But for what I'm doing tonight, I need the yellow. And I've got a new pigment that I'm using here. And it's a pretty color, like a pinkish color, whatever. And if this works out well, I'll tell you what that is after the video. Okay, and I've mixed up some sand in here because I wanted some sand in the background, but I don't know. I'm starting to think that might be real bubbly, so I don't know. I should uh, probably test sample this sand first, and I think I'll do just that. Let me grab something. I can't find my other coaster I'm looking for, so maybe I'll just try this little tree trunk thing I got here. Got this copper. I was going to make a little tree trunk. I got these tiny, cute, 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 tiny little... Uh, silicone molds here. I'm going to make a couple of tree trunks. I wanted to use the sand and something else, but I don't know. It seems like it's pretty bubbly. So I'm just going to try it in this tree trunk just because before I actually put it on a project I want because this isn't craft sand or anything like that. Of course, I don't know if there's a difference or not, but this is just some real sand there. And I'll also top it off there with what's left. And a little bit of that copper. And I just swirl it in there just to fill it up. I gotta fill it up to the top. Okay, now. Curious to see what that's gonna turn out like, huh? Just testing, 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 right? Everybody? <laughs> All right, now, but what I want to do tonight, that's just testing and funsy stuff. So, but what I wanted to create tonight was something, uh, well, watch and see. Okay, so I'm going to use my pinky color, and I'm going to drop that in there like that. And I'm going to swirl on that gold because I'm going to make something out of this. Well, a coaster, obviously, but... <laughs> Silly me. Okay. I'm going to spread that around a little bit and get that going on the bottom. And I'll pop those bubbles before I add the next layer. Good enough. And now I'm going to swirl in some of this gold. Just because I don't want to waste any resin. It's precious stuff, y'all. I'm using my Famo with glaze coat this evening. It's a countertop resin. I'm going to let that set up a little bit before I do what I want to do. All right, everybody. Let's finish this up. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. And I've got a little slice of wood. And I have these slices, but I actually soaked it overnight a few days ago in um, coffee and then I let that dry out completely and I put a little sticker on there it says into the wild and I cut up some uh, let's see let me go get it show you these little cork circles I have a bag of them I got them on Amazon and I just cut them in fourths so I can uh, have some chips of cork around the sticker so it's kind of natural looking because it's like a desert and that's why I had some yellow and some rose gold so now I'm gonna drop my into the wild in there and I'm gonna wipe this off quick because I got fingerprints on it give that a little buffing there <laughs> I'm gonna drop that in there and hope I get it in the middle <laughs> 
And I'm going to put my cork around the edges. I don't know, you guys, I've never done it like this before. This is just, once again, something new to do. Having fun with cork. <laughs> I think that's good. Otherwise, I'll never know when to stop. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit because I don't want these to float away because otherwise I'll have to stand here and babysit the thing and Keep pushing them down and pushing them down and pushing them down. I don't want to do that. However, I also don't want to wait till tomorrow when it's completely dry and cured because then it gets kind of a funky undercoating. And uh, I really don't want to have to sand it and do all that. So this will look cute too when I put the cork on the bottom side. That will be cool looking. Okay, now... Also, I want to tell you about this. I, when I moved it, it kind of slipped on its side a little bit, and I got a little resin on the outside of that, but that's okay. All right, everybody. Let's let that sit for a few minutes, and we'll add another, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Maybe one and a half tablespoons on top. All right, everybody. Time has passed. And you know me. I just can't let things go. I got to always tinker, tinker. So, I sprinkled some gold glitter on there, and I had to cut another little piece of um, cork and stuffed it right there because uh, there's like an empty space once things start shifting. All right, now I mixed up my resin. I'm using the Famo wood again, and I have a cute little idea for this. And I'll show you that in a second, just because I'm playing tonight, just playing, just playing around. Okay. Let's pour the clear coat on here, everybody. Oh boy, here we go. Like that'll cover. Let's let that level a second. We shall see. Now, for over here, I want to do something fun. Let me show you what I want to do. I have these cute little bottles. These little clear bottles is pour some a little bit of this on first like a little top coat so I can put the torch to it because I don't want to put plastic bottles on there and put a torch to it actually I don't know if these are plastic or glass okay, I think they're glass I do not know let's let that level I think it'd be a cute little paperweight now let's see what this is and see if I've got enough on top of here. I think I don't. I need to put a little bit more on there. Let it level. A lot of times, too, you can pop some bubbles like that one with the toothpick. I was just getting ready to do it and it popped on its own. See, it's popping. Sometimes the toothpick takes care of the bigger ones and you don't have to be adding torch to it still. I was going to tell you guys something too, like uh, when I'm mixing up my resin, sometimes I'm, my phone will ring or this or that, and I get sidetracked. Oh boy, look at that. I'm going to have to push these down every couple of seconds. Got to babysit it, guys. Got to babysit it. Uh, sometimes like my phone will ring or something, and or I get sidetracked from the dog or whatnot, and then I can't remember what I poured first, you know, on these little cups with my resin. Because I have two cups sitting there, but then I don't know if I poured the resin or the hardener. And I've learned to just do one first. Like I always use one with the black cap first or whatever. You guys have to find your own little niche of things, you know. So also I was going to tell you, like if you have two black caps or two white caps and you can't figure out, you know, which one you did. Because I got in the habit of telling myself I'm doing the black one first so it'll never happen again. But... Also remember that the hardener is a little bit heavier than the resin. So if you pick your two cups up, your hardener is going to be a little heavier. And then you'll be able to know, you know, which one is which. Like if you, you'll have to just obviously pour some more in another cup so you can, 
use it for reference and then pour that one back or whatever until you figure out which one's which. But that's how I do it. Maybe I should have glued these down first is what I should have done. Huh, everybody? Say yes, everybody, yes, you dummy. What the hell are you thinking? But let me pop these bubbles. That way they won't float so much and get some of these air bubbles out of there. Pop them again in a second. Here's those. All right. Let's drop these little bottles. I think it's going to be so cute. Because I kind of want them out like that. And sticking up and stuff. So, like that. And since I seem to have some resin left in here. Because with my luck, I know for a fact I can babysit this all damn night long. And what's going to happen is one will pop back up. <laughs> it just will. In the middle of the night, while I'm sleeping, it'll come out to get me. So, no sense of pouring more resin on there now. Let's do a little tree, everybody. I got this little tree. Isn't that cute? So cute, cute, cute. I think I showed you guys my trees before. I don't remember. Okay. No, it's just, uh, it's going to be a nice clear tree. But you know what? I think I'll put some color to it. Let me think here. Let me have some green ink here. Let's see. Some forest green. My pinata forest green. Just two drops. It can be semi-clear. I don't need to have it uh, real dark or whatever. Oh, you know what? It looks like the Baja Blue. <laughs> Well, looks like I'm going to have a blue tree, everybody. That's okay. It's a mystical, magical forest. And that's what I get for my eyesight. This doesn't do me right. I didn't bring out the old, uh, I didn't bring out the, I'll show you what I use. I have to use this all the time to see. So, I didn't pull that out, so I got the color wrong. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. Who says you have to have a green tree, right? Okay, let's just pour this in here. And you're just going to want to spread it around with your popsicle stick. Like so. So cute, so cute, so cute. I love it, love it, love it. You know, I always find myself rushing, too. And I don't like to do that because I just got to realize that I have more working time than I think I do, you know? Either I'm thinking I'm in a hurry to see the finished product and get it done, or I just am in a hurry because I think the resin's going to harden on me or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm actually in the Zen tonight. I'm not in a hurry going to be okay, everybody, I promise. <laughs> all right. Just trying to get all my little tips here before I scrape. And I'll take a clean stick and uh, scrape that. And what I meant to do is I didn't want to put the gold glitter in there. I meant to put my some chocolate gl glitter in here. So let's just put, for contrast, y'all, a little chocolate glitter in there. I like chocolate glitter, chocolate glitter on my glass. All right, let's poke these down, guys. Boy, they are floating, eh? Dummy, dummy me. What was I thinking? I guess I wasn't thinking. I got too much going on tonight, and this is just floating all over. But you know what? Also, when it floats to the top, like I've been told, like some people... Like it like that, like the sticks, the one I had on the sticks. It all floated to the top and created a, uh, see now I'm messing with the color down below. The color down below, oh boy. Well, this is an epic fail, y'all. Epic. Epic. <laughs> We 
which is too bad because that's such a cute little sticker. I ruined it. Mm. Now I still have to cow. <laughs> well, not much more I can do with that. I can't keep torching it and this and that and keep playing with it. I mean, I still have working time, but I can't keep doing that. I got a little piece of cork sticking out there. Okay. Epic fail. I guess how they say, it's a keeper. In other words, for me, I'm stuck with it. <laughs> well, we experiment, we live, we learn, right? I don't know why I didn't think to glue them down because it's just something I should know already. <laughs> eh. Oh, well, this is kind of fun, though. Well, guys, I can't sit here and do this forever. So I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm just going to set my timer and I'm going to come back every 10 minutes and push them down into place because the more I do this, I'm just creating more bubbles. So note to self, don't keep doing it. You're going to create more bubbles and there's going to come a time where I can't keep torching it because it's just about there already. Okay, well, let's just scrape this tree. And here's another, let me think. Let's, I got a little bit of resin left. What can I do with it? What can I do with it? Um, I wonder if I can add a little blue in here. I wonder what that would look like. Like, you know, since it's for the sea, you know. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Really playing here, huh? Yeah, I better leave that. Well, let's see. What else do I have over here that's teeny tiny? I do have these little gem makers. Click on that. Oop. <laughs> there we go. It's all right. It's all right. It's all good. Just so you guys know, too, this is, like, really good to have on hand. I got that we're sitting right here because it's uh, not real heavy or anything. It's quick to get to, and kids know how to use it. I have one in the kitchen and one in the hallway. All right, well, I'm going to scrape this up now and just push it onto the wax paper. Let's wait till morning. Actually, I need to do that. That got rid of them bubbles now, didn't it? <laughs> I do have these uh, little clasps. Let me show you. Come on now, where is it? Where is it? I'm really unorganized, everybody. Okay, we have these little clasps. And I'm going to wait. A little while and stick the clasp in there you can't screw it in there they have little screws on them see I can screw it in there or I can just set it in there when it's semi actually I'll just wait so I don't mess it up I'll screw it in there when it's dry <laughs> all right everybody I'll see you in the morning in the meantime I'm gonna keep pushing these down it's already thicker than I want it and I don't know, everybody. I just don't know anymore. I screwed up royally. Royally, royally. See you in the morning, everybody. All right, everybody. Let me tell you what I did. First of all, I just want to keep it going. This video is probably the longest video I think I've ever done. <laughs> anyway, um, I had filmed the unmolding of this and all that, and what happened was that I went to put it on my computer, and it told me that I had a corrupted file. And I just couldn't get it downloaded and uploaded onto YouTube. So I don't know what happened there. I had since then rebooted my computer. But anyway, lost footage. And I just hate when that kind of crap happens. Anywho, here's what happened. Uh, this is what happened with this uh, coaster that I was working on. With the cork and that little the sticker and everything. Those The cork just kept floating. It was my own mistake. 
uh, epic fail. I, I knew better. I should have glued it down, but they kept floating and I, I can't keep adding more resin. That, that coaster was going to be like three inches thick. So, uh, -uh. so I tried taking the cork out and I set it aside and, uh, it just, it, whatever. That's what, and that's what it ended up being. That's what I got left. <laughs> I suppose I could put a magnet on there. It'd be kind of cool. A little cork magnet. I don't know. But anyway, here's that little jewel thing that I made, and I didn't put the thing in there yet. But, you know, I didn't put any glitter in there. So, I don't know. Here's one I had made from before. That turned out pretty. And this, this would make a nice magnet, I think. It's really, that turned out really cool. I like that, you guys. It's cool. And this cute little tree trunk there. The tree trunks turned out really good. Little bitty sparkle in there. Teeny tiny little tree trunk <laughs> for a fairy garden, maybe. And this one, of course, this is the back side, but it turned out perfect. Look at that, you guys. The sand and everything, it turned out so good. I really, really like that. I thought, and here I thought the sand was going to give me the business with all the bubbles and air bubbles and everything, but the sand was just, wow, what a perfect addition to the little tree trunk, teeny tiny. And the tree, again, that turned out nice. I'm getting a nice little collection of these trees because I'm going to make something. I'm working on something. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this really long video. I really appreciate it. Here's your meditation thought for today. Ultimately, there's only one thing that creates tension, wanting things to be different than what they are. And I can't let that get to me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Don't forget to grab your glue gun and your glitters. Don't forget to wear your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way, any way you want to. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon, back in the studio.